Hello everyone, this is Greg Brown, a volunteer with the American Steam Railroad, and I'm here to bring you the June 2025 update on American Freedom Train 250. The focus of this month's efforts was our stable replacement project. In response to six leaking stay bolts on the lower back head, and since we've already removed the cab and rear fire brick to access the area, 74 stay bolts are being replaced to restore the area to like new condition. A pair of special weekday work sessions with contractors saw the majority of old stay bolts torched out, while the remaining bolts have had their heads ground flush to the sheet ready for removal. Today we're at Blau Machine Company in Menor, Ohio, just east of Cleveland where we're cutting through stay bolts, threading them, and drilling them for American Freedom Train 250. The material came from the Strasburg Railroad. More on manufacturing and installation is to follow. In addition to our work sessions this month, our friends at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society held two open houses in collaboration with the citywide Cleveland History Days. We hosted over 200 visitors throughout the two days and all enjoyed viewing number 250 up close, meeting the crew and contributing to our latest campaign. On Saturday, June 14, ASR donors and members climbed aboard the Spirit of Urbana benefit excursion, taking an all-day open window trip to a festival in Urbana, Ohio, with raffle prizes, merchandise, and the scenic Ohio countryside along the way. We thank the Cincinnati Scenic Railway for arranging this fantastic experience which raised over $1,000 for number 250. And who could forget Sunday, June 15th, when the whistle for American Freedom Train 250 went out on the railroad for the first time. In use on Nickel Plate Road Steam Locomotive number 765, it operated through Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan to the delight of thousands. Speaking of whistles, ASR welder and machinist Grayson Littleton has announced a limited run of Reading valve in whistle bowls with engineering by a student of ASR member Andy Wartman's STEAM education program and guidance provided by Rizzoli Locomotive Works. Proceeds from this run will offset the cost of a new bowl for number 250's whistle. The price for one finished bowl is $2,500. Contact Grayson for details or to place an order. Thanks to the Midwest Railway Preservation Society, the Cincinnati Scenic Railway, and the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society for making all of these collaborations possible and helping number 250 reach its next steam test. But our work is not done and critical funding is needed. Our July campaign, covering the cost of the rest of our repairs, parts, fuel, and professional services to secure our next series of steam tests, needs to raise $7,000 by the end of July, July 31. Full budget breakdown is on our website. Thanks to our donors, volunteers, contractors, and Midwest Railway Preservation Society and Blyle Machine for allowing us to use their facilities and for the money that they help us to raise. Contribute to our $7,000 July campaign at AmericanSteamRailroad.org.